Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we start our class for the concept of light quantization. So that means we need to understand at least the basic ideas of what is mean by the quantum physics. Okay, so we continue. So before we start, what is a photon? And then, and the intensity of light. So we need to understand what is a photon and then how the photon is related to the intensity of light. Okay, so according to the Albert Einstein, so light consists of discrete of packet, discrete or packet of energy. So which is traveled in space with the speed of light okay so the symbol of photon normally we are using this one so when we look to this diagram actually is the symbol of the photon so and then we have to know light behave like a particle so that's mean light has the momentum so light can behave like a wave so light also can behave as a particle okay so if we consider light as a particle that means light has a momentum so later we learn this one uh, about the uh, light as a particle okay so the energy of photon e photon here we can calculate by using the equal to the hf h is a plan constant this is the value of the Planck constant. F is the frequency of the photon. And C is the speed of light. Lambda is the wavelength. So, and then how the HF is related to the HC of lambda from this equation. C is equal to the F lambda. Actually, from the equation, V is equal to the F lambda. But because light is moving in the speed of light, so we change to the C is equal to the F lambda. Then we can calculate the energy of photon equal to the HF or HC over the wavelength lambda. Okay. That is mean by the photon. So then we can, now we go for the intensity of light. So intensity of light, what is the intensity of light? Okay. So it's easier for us to understand the intensity of light. So to use this diagram so low intensity then we have here example so we have a uh, three photons here uh, one two three and then the highest in intensity that's mean we have a uh, more photons in this case is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so and then we this is a high intensity of light this one is the low intensity of light for this relative to this cross-sectional area so energy of the photon then we can calculate is equal to e is equal to the hf so intensity of light number of photon per area what is the intensity of light is a number of photon per area low intensity that means number of photon per area is low High intensity number of photon per area is high that is mean by the intensity of light so we continue so we continue here intensity of light and then the photo electron current so now we need to understand how the intensity of light effect the photoelectron current so energy of photon are constant this mean the energy of photon in this light is constant that means they have the same energy of photon so here and then here so the energy of photon are same but the intensity of light I1 is low 
compare to this intensity of light I2 so that's mean this one is a very high intensity of light because number of photon per area is very high this one is number of photon per area is very low so less photon more photon so less photon that's mean less emitted electron if the photon can emit the electron this one is a more photon that's mean more emitted electron so less emitted electron that's mean less photo electron current so more emitted electron that's mean more photo electron current okay so and then we are uh, refer to this referring to this graph so here is the current i1 and i2 stopping voltage vs is not affected by intensity of light because stopping voltage vs is affected by the energy of photon energy of photon are constant okay so this one stopping voltage is not affected by the uh, intensity of light is affected by the energy of photon but because in this case the energy of photon are constant that means the stopping voltage is constant okay so we look here i1 and i2 so from the diagram from the graph we can saw here i2 is bigger than the i1 okay why why the i2 is bigger than the i1 because in this case is more photo more emitted electron so that's mean more photo electron can reach the anode so the current is increasing compared to the i1 i1 is less emitted electron that's mean less photo electron reach the anode so the photo electron current is low that we can explain for the graph so i repeat here for the stopping voltage stopping voltage is not vs is not affected by intensity of light because stopping voltage vs is affected by the energy of photon so the energy of photon is affect the stopping voltage the intensity of light is not affect the stopping voltage so in this you have to know why the you are increasing the intensity of light that's mean you are increasing the photo electron current so you need to understand the one okay so we continue so energy of photon the work function the kinetic energy and then the threshold frequency so we need to understand so we go first for the energy as photon so before this i teach what is mean by the energy of photon how to calculate the energy of photon so we go for the work function so the symbol of the work function is a w work function actually is the energy so of course the unit is the joule okay so what is mean by the work function so the minimum energy required to break a bond between the electron and then the atom for the electron to escape from the metal surface so here is the bond so bond and then so the electron gets the energy from the incident light or the photon okay so there is this one is another uh, definition of work function the minimum of energy required for a free electrons in the metal to escape from the metal surface so actually is the work function is the minimum energy to break down to break a bond so here is a nucleus so here is the e free electron or the electron valence they have the it has the bond between the inside the atoms huh? so the minimum energy to break this bond then between the electron and then the atom and then for the electron to escape to emitted from the metal surface 
so that one we call as a work function so we continue okay so work function for the example for the metal so aluminium so the work function is 4.3 silver iron silicon gold then the list of the work function for relative uh, metal so i just want to note here one electron volt actually is equal to 1.6 times 10 power of negative 19 joule so normally in the modern physics we almost use uh, normally we use the unit of energy we use a electron valent so for the normal situation energy is a the unit is the joule okay so i just from the, this diagram so the energy of photon hf or the c over lambda so photon they hit the metal surface some of the energy is give to the electron to cut the bond cut bond cut the bond between the electron and then the atoms and then some of the energy they give to the electron emitted from the metal surface then the electron has the kinetic energy so because this one is the maximum kinetic energy so we call as a kinetic energy maximum okay so we continue energy of photon e is equal to hf is used to break the bond between the electron and then the atom so the work function so the electron can be emitted with maximum kinetic energy k maximum half mv power of 2 so v is a maximum then we can write as a from the conservation of energy energy of photon is given to the work function to cut the bond between the nucleus and then the electron and then some of the energy is given to the electron as a kinetic energy maximum so we have this equation so this equation normally we call as a photoelectric Einstein photoelectric equation okay so continue so so just to explain back this one so from conservation of energy energy of photon equals to the blue w plus k maximum so hf energy of photon hf or some we have to write we can write as a se over lambda depends on the uh, data so and then the w as hf equals to the w work function plus the half mv power of 2 maximum so this one is a uh, as i mentioned before as time photoelectric equation for the electron to escape from the metal surface the energy of photon must higher than the work function so when e photon is equal to w then the kinetic maximum is equal to zero joule therefore we can write the work function as a w is the h f naught then the f naught normally is the threshold frequency so threshold frequency that means the minimum frequency of photon to emit the electron from the metal surface that's the 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 uh understand today so before this and then for this i stop here for that thank you